Hey guys, I just picked one of these up from Harbor Freight the other day. Finally got around to uh, pulling it out of the box. Uh, and I didn't get it for the big stuff. Uh, you know, usually when I drop nuts and bolts and stuff like that, it one, it's onesies, twosies, that kind of stuff. You know, you don't find yourself too much, you know, like that picture there where you got uh, tons of nuts and bolts and stuff laying all over the ground. But as machinists making chips, you do find yourself with tons of fine debris so i already ran it over the uh driveway here let me show you what i picked up that picked up way more little stuff than i thought it would i'm really kind of surprised because i've swept and blown off the driveway i i knew there was some debris in it from uh doing the rims the other day with my buddy dave uh because we set him on his tailgate and then when he lifted up his tailgate but it was in an isolated spot uh, it did seem to pick that up pretty nice All right, so obviously there's four magnets under there. Uh, so you got to keep that in mind. You know, you really don't have much pulling from the outer two edges there, which is fine. And granted, you know, the way it's, uh, the way I've got it sitting, I've just got it that way for, for display. You know, you just, you turn it like this. Now the cool part is with this one, it's got a lift on it to quick release. Okay. Now, since it's released, well, that did a pretty good job of releasing it, too, didn't it? Nice. So I know there's some more right down in that area. And maybe it'll be quiet enough you can hear it pick up. A little tinging. So you can't run over it extremely fast. And I may measure these wheels and see about getting some wheels that are uh, a little bit shorter, like another half an inch. Because, like I said, I'm not worried about picking up the big stuff. I want to get it down closer to pick up the kind of stuff that it did pick up. So. So that's basically stuff I missed the first time. And I think if I was down uh, even a little bit closer, I could go a little bit faster. I'm not picking up the aluminum. What the heck? I'm going to have to take it back. You know, but I got, a, I got a granddaughter that runs up and down this driveway and stuff. And a lot of times she'll come out and be in her bare feet. Or stocking feet or whatever. So uh, blowing it off and sweeping it off and that stuff doesn't get done often enough. So with this, uh, it'll be pretty nice. Let me show you the other... Uh, well, let's go back over this. Here, let's go back over this and pick that up. And man, that, that just like... Boy, that, that picked it all up. I like that. So I have my... Uh, bucket scrap bucket whatever this is what I dump all my uh, metal shavings and chips and scrap pieces in and stuff like that so I don't need to run it all the way down in there but we'll we'll pretty much stick there what I do want to be able to do is there we go yeah that's nice See these slide up and down with it. <laughs> They're not held on that much that you can't just brush them off. So the handle here's got a wing bolt, wing nut on it there to, to hold that. Uh, that welding table in there is steel, so obviously that can uh, it can stick to that too. But let's take this other wheel off here and I'll show you the adjustment. Uh, there that is independent. That's as low as that's going to get 
compared to the wheels. And that just may be close enough. And yeah, the side I kept looking at there uh, was probably the high side. Oh, you know, and I could probably even take this apart and put that slot up a little higher. That way, I'd, that'd be uh, cheaper than going out and buying new uh, tires. I could chuck the tires up into the lathe and shave a half inch off them because they're, they're solid tires. It's, uh, that's a 19 millimeter, so that's an inch, inch and an eighth. Well, I'll see how I, uh, I see how I like that before I go getting wheels or slotting it or whatever. We'll keep it like this for a while. I'm thinking too, you know, it might uh, might be really nice too to pick up the, the the stuff, the chips on the floor instead of just blowing them off to the side and then a month later having to clean them all up. Um, you know, the chip bucket. Uh, once I get the wings on and stuff like that and have a little bit more room in here, my uh, trash can there will probably stay inside. So it wouldn't be that big a deal to run this around the shop and pick up the majority of it and get the steel and leave the dirt behind. And then when I blow off to the side, I don't have to worry about it uh, uh, being a ton of crap and cardboard and plastic and all that kind of stuff. What goes into the trash can will primarily be steel. So we'll see how that works.